I'm here today with Bob Bernache, the president of Brisk Insurance. Bob and I have been working together since 23rd, the fall of 2013. Uh, officially, Brisk started in May or March of 2015, Bob. We launched our we launched the captive on March 1st of 2015. Okay, so we just uh, just passed the five year anniversary mark. And Bob, when you came to our office, and I'll I actually remember that day very vividly. You walked in, we had a meeting with Mark Gardner, your old crony from the progressive days. And I remember you outlining your plan for Brisk on our whiteboard downstairs. And uh, we were a part of that. So would you mind sharing back in 2013, why did you select Avatar Fleet as part of the risk mitigation team? But yeah, early on, uh, I did identify Avatar as a partner that I thought would help differentiate us and more importantly, help our members of the captive manage and reduce risk. So I had known Mark a long time, I know you, and uh, I was impressed with a lot of the products that you'd already introduced related to training drivers. And uh, as I talked to you through the years prior to that point in time, I knew that you guys had a lot of other plans. And, and so I wanted to be part of that. I wanted uh, the Tire Wheels Group Captive to benefit from the innovations and the product development that you have going forward. And, and I think we benefited from it. Our members who are using your suite of products are, are clearly um, taking advantage of uh, all of the benefits of the, the recruiting, the driver retention and the training. And I think our overall good financial results, our low loss ratio is in part due to the relationship we have with Avatar. All of our members are benefiting from some of the Avatar products, and several of them, quite a few of them, are benefiting from um, the suite of products. Yeah, absolutely. Some of our best clients are directly from the captive. Uh, I think that's because of the type of uh, client that you bring on, Bob. These are the cream of the crop. Uh, you're intentionally a low risky guy when you're putting this together, the captive, right? You're very picky about them. So, I say that is we can't take credit for the results because you were these were good solid operations before we started working with them. But what were some of the specific results you've seen across the board with the, with uh, your clients, your members? Specific objective, of course, is to reduce loss costs, and our loss cost and our loss fund for our members um, are lower than projected, um, and our loss costs for our reinsurance partners have been significantly lower than what they're expecting and pricing for. So we've had great loss results. Um, our partnership with our claims management and our risk management partners, I think, is producing what we have been selling, which is a, uh, a vehicle that allows members to have lower loss costs as a result of their efforts and the partnership that partnerships that we bring to the table. Would agree. It's a it's a nice it's a stew, right? We're just we're just one piece of the stew that you've been cooking over there. So, we, but uh, you also mentioned that the members that come into this captive, uh, you know, we've had them, we we've known most of them for quite a long time. So they've got the management structure, the management experience, and the safety cultures that make them a good fit for the captive. And I think those same those same ingredients make them a good fit for Avatar because those are the type of organizations that can embrace and um, and use your products most effectively would agree we like the ones that are that are good looking to get great or great looking to get excellent and those are the ones I think that have really adopted the tools specifically when we're talking about safety culture uh, the one that you've sponsored for your members is the triple LC instructor and driver certification process uh, for those who don't know the acronym there is look ahead, look around, leave room, communicate. It's a defensive driving system, uh, not only that's trained the trainer, but online courses. So Bob, what was it that caused you to sponsor that program for your members? And again, what were some of the results you've seen or have you seen safety cultures improve? You know, the biggest exposure our companies, our members of the captive have, biggest exposure the captive has is the person behind the wheel. And if we can make them better at their job, make them more consistent with applying safe behaviors, um, we're going to end up with better results. So we knew we had to have something that was going to assist those professional drivers in their day-to-day -day management of traffic and speed and space. 
Um, the Triple LC program allowed us to train more people within our budget than we would have with other options. The Triple LC program was easy to learn, easy to communicate, and um, the development of that program over the last few years has really been an effective risk management tool and um, even a retention tool, I think, for a lot of our members who have embraced it. So for us, it was a way to effectively help more of our members uh, utilize a vital, vital um, risk management process of continuing to train, reinforce, and remind drivers of what they need to do all the time. And it's working very well for us. So what, you know, you and I were both pleasantly surprised that, you know, there's a handful of other systems out there and we've been surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised at the numbers of folks who have been making jumps to Triple LC. Why do you think that is? You know, we like most of the good defensive driving programs that are out there. So we aren't asking our current members who've been Smith system for years to change. We just wanted to use that Smith system or whatever system they have um, and continue to use it effectively. But we do make Triple LC available to people that don't have an effective system or aren't using the system. And I have been surprised with the number of people that have gotten uh, enamored and, and basically decided to change from another program to Triple LC because they saw that it was easier to use and um, and probably just a more effective training tool for them to use. So, so although it wasn't our goal to convert people, we have converted quite a few from other programs that are very good programs to Triple LC. And for us, having a consistency in our approach within the overall captive is a benefit. Mm -hmm. It's a tight knit group. And if they're speaking the same language, using the same tools, they can benefit from each other. And that's what I've seen is your uh, fellow safety directors will tap each other. They'll pick up the phone if there's a question or a problem. So they're just, there's value to everyone speaking the same language. Absolutely. So Bob, we'll get you off the hot seat with this question. Um, what's the best part of our partnership? Uh, you bring up that, uh, you know, we talked to you back in 2013 and a year and a half later, we actually lost the campus. So you were part of our, um, our game, my game plan from the very beginning. I'd say the best part of the relationship has been the communication. When you have wanted to explore things that we didn't think would be effective, we can tell you that. When you have um, been trying to innovate, create new products, you get our input, you get input from our members, and you're very open to the actual needs of the users and our perspective on you know how, how our users, are, what type of help they're looking for. Um, you've been uh, receptive to our ideas, and, um, and we certainly have been very receptive to the things you've explored too. So I'd have to rate the communication as probably one of the best parts of the relationship just because it, it seems kind of unique to me that we have that good of communication with your organization. And, and maybe it's because we're two smaller organizations that have a lot of same focuses that allow us to communicate so well. Uh, I would agree with that, Bob. And your you know, school wasn't my forte, but the class that I liked the most was Voice of the Customer. And <laughs> I listened to you because I trust what you're, um, I trust what you have to say. And I trust what your members have to say. And that has been my appeal of what you've put together. Not only your expertise in the insurance side, um, but you've been around the block in the trucking world. And again, who you've put together are really high class outfits. And so when I have a question or a new idea, it's your members who I go talk to. Um, and I'll bounce it off your door first to say, hey, Bob, is this a good idea or a crazy idea? And the best part of a partnership is you need to have someone who will tell you, Scott, that's not a good idea. But you know, let's just cross that one off the list and move on. Uh, and that's valuable because that means I don't spin my wheels on something that's that's not worth it. So thank you for being that sounding board and and being able to draw on that whiteboard behind you. Um, it's been a good it's been a great partnership from our perspective as well. Glad to hear that. All right. Well, thank you, Bob. Look forward to uh, five more years, if not more. At least. That's right. Thank you.